Hello lovely people and welcome back to one more episode of my recreating Instagram makeup series. Whew, I feel kind of weird calling these videos episodes but hey it sounds way more professional. Now every time that I do video like that the makeup is getting more and more dramatic and you're probably thinking like why are you saying that? Well let me show you the look that we're going to be recreating today. Okay check it out. Look how pretty it is super duper stunning i just want to mention that it was kind of difficult to find a interesting but kind of toned down look to recreate today because it was halloween one week ago and instagram is full of those really intense halloween looks so i was looking to find something dramatic but not halloweenish dramatic i don't know if you feel me <laughs> but i absolutely love this look it just it's so so pretty you guys know that i love blue so i'm going to be more than happy to paint my face in blue today <laughs> this look was inspired by rita ermin rita ermin i might be pronouncing this wrong but a link to her instagram is going to be down in the description box and if you are into more creative makeup into some really cool face art go check her out she does some really really cool stuff and even if you're not into painting your face and creating different art on your face it's just really nice to look at her work because she does really beautiful stuff so today we're going to attempt to recreate this look let's go okay so she's wearing blue wig i don't have blue wig but i have this one here <laughs> what? hello okay okay here we go now i just want to mention that you guys probably already know that but um i'm really new to wigs okay so don't judge me just trying to do my best i actually love wigs and i love how they look i just need to learn how to put them on my earring just broke oh oh both of them oh no what did i do i'm gonna see what i'm gonna do with them later on it's actually a pretty cute wig huh i got it from wish just gonna clip it like this in here so that i can do my makeup what i find really interesting in this look that she actually has makeup i mean eyeshadows just on the one eye and i found that really really cool so let's go ahead and do that eye i'm gonna this for me is going to be my left eye in the caption of the photo she mentioned that she used these two Huda beauty palettes so i'm gonna use them as well because i have them and let me just pick a brush i already have primed and used some powder on my eye and now as a first transition color in the crease i'm going to pick this one here this is actually my first time using this um purple Huda palette i've tried the the green one i've tried the blue one i mean i tried most of them and there is no doubt that they're great quality eyeshadows this week definitely needs some adjustments it needs some baby hairs it needs you know it needs work but uh, I, I don't know how to do it <laughs> i'm just being honest I've watched a ton of how to style and how to like prepare a wig for my head, but uh, it seems complicated. Now I'm just diffusing that purple shade further into my crease, just blending it out with a clean, fluffy blending brush. Okay, and now for the blue on the eyelid, I'm gonna pick this shade here. Oh, this is going to be amazing check this out wow taking that first brush that i used to apply the purple shade i'm gonna pick some of this purple color <laughs> and i'm gonna use it to blend out the blue eyeshadow further into my crease The good thing about this makeup is that you don't need to worry if the eyeshadows on both of your eyes are matching. Like, can we make the one eye eyeshadow makeup a thing, please? As you can tell, she also has something really sparkly in the inner corner of her eye. So, be right back. I'm going to get my Ofra highlighters. Nothing can shine brighter than the Ofra highlighters. So, this is their Beverly Hills highlighter and I'm gonna pick the shiniest of all of them. <laughs> and this is going in the inner 
corner of my eyelid. I think that Rihanna should change the lyrics of her song. Instead of shine bright like a diamond, she should sing shine bright like a for highlighter. I'm gonna also bring that blue eyeshadow along my lower lashes. And I'm blending it out with the purple that I also used in my crease. Okay, now it's time for the wing. I also noticed that she has this little like whoop of eyeliner in the inner corner of her eyes. I never do that. Like never. I haven't attempted to do that for so so long. I just hate how it looks on me. But today we're recreating this look so I mean, I am doing what I see. I already kind of did it in this eye and I'm gonna do the the, the naked eye. So, whew, pretty nervous about this part. I just feel like it, it doesn't look good on my eye shape, you know. So, I never do it. But I'm gonna actually try it out today. And by the way, the eyeliner that I'm using is by Stila. I've been loving it. Now, that inner corner eyeliner thing, it's not that bad actually. I like how it came out. I also added a pair of falsies. I used the House of Lashes in the style I Lure Light. There is some pink eyeshadow along the lower lashes of the naked eye. I'm gonna call the eye without the eyeshadows naked, okay? Because it, it, it has nothing on, it's naked. <laughs> Except for eyeliner. But I'm gonna take some of this shade here and I'm gonna smudge that under here. Ooh. and some mascara on the lower lashes. You guys know that I also don't do this often. I almost never, but... <laughs> but it's nice trying out stuff that I wouldn't usually do, you know. I wish that my upper lashes would be as long as my lower lashes. They're so long! Why? It's so unfair. Now it's time for the fun part and I'm talking about this really cool drawing. I think that this is actually cherry blossom. So I decided to Google cherry blossom face paint so that I can get an idea how to paint it on my face. And I found some really adorable photos, like look at this girl. <laughs> I wanted to get an idea how to draw these little leaves that are flying away from the flowers. I also found this one, really cute. But anyways, I'm gonna be also looking at them so that you know I can draw it as good as possible. For the blue color here, I'm going to use um, again that Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take the same eyeshadow that I also used on my eyelid. I need a big brush for this one. Let's see if this is going to do the job. So I'm just gonna load it with some eyeshadow. Ooh. I need to pin the wig away from my face. You're actually able to see my, my real hair here, but that, that's okay. You know that I'm wearing a wig, I'm not hiding that. I really hope this eyeshadow won't stain me because if it does, I, I won't be able to go out of the house for a few days. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna take a mixture of these two colors and I'm gonna like diffuse the edges of this blue eyeshadow. I've never actually applied eyeshadow in this part of my face. Oh my god, I just don't want to look like I'm bruised. Oh, it's coming out so cool. So unusual. Time for the flowers. I'm gonna start off with this big one right here on the cheek. <sighs> my hand is so shaky.
this takes time, but I love how it's coming out. How pretty it is! It looks so dreamy. There are also some dots under the eyes with eyeshadows, so I'm gonna add some dots there. Dots, 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 dots everywhere. There's just something on Instagram that, you know, you're scrolling, you see a really nice look, you double click, you like it and you keep on scrolling, but you actually don't realize how much work can go into a single look. And I'm not talking about just a, you know, a, a really simple smokey. I'm talking about these kind of looks, the really intense ones. Like you see it, you like it, and you can't know how much hours of work went in, into that look if you don't try it yourself. And that's why I love recreating those Instagram looks, especially the more dramatic ones. It's art, nobody can deny that. And there are so many talented people on Instagram that do these kind of makeup looks and they just need a little bit more exposure. They need people to see their art. There is that girl that honestly, I'll probably never be able to recreate one of her looks, but she's awesome. Like, let me show you. Her name is The Week and Makeup Manager. And you guys check out how, how amazing stuff she's doing. Like, let me show you one, this one. Look at that, absolutely stunning. I would print and frame that and put it on my wall. It's so beautiful and inspiring, so much talent. And it's not easy just to put some random stuff on your face and make it look beautiful. That's actually talent, knowing how to put those random stuff on the face and make it look stunning. There's also some blue and purple eyeshadow on the jawline and on the neck. I swear, if this eyeshadow stain me, I'm going to be offline from the, from the world for like a week. I'll also bring some of that purple shade right here on my nose. Uh, that's such a weird place to apply makeup. <laughs> oh, look how cute it is. What else? highlighter what is this look without any highlighter i have this milani highlighter here which has that purplish kind of highlight my hand don't give attention to it so i'm gonna spray my brush with whatever i have left from that mac fix plus i barely have anything left oh, i'm gonna dip it into that highlighter and apply it on my nose Ooh. Look at that. Mm hmm. I don't know if she has anything on her cheeks, but hey, highlighter is never a bad idea. I love the shade of this highlighter. It just suits this look so much. Oh, okay. I just got super excited. On top of it, I'll add just a tiny little bit of that um, highlighter here by Ofra. I'm gonna mix those two. Just for some extra shine. Woo! Super duper shiny nose. <laughs> I don't know if she contoured. Maybe she has some contour going on. On this side, it's too late for contour. But I'm gonna I'm gonna contour my face a little bit on the on the other side. And I'll also add some blush. For blush, I'm gonna go with my Sigma Nymphea. Now, on the lips, she's wearing really cool blue lipstick. I don't have the one that she used. However, I have a few blue lip colors and I'm gonna try to see which one works best with this look. This one, obviously, it's too light shade of blue, so we're taking it out. This one is more purplish blue shade, so definitely not this one has that beautiful metallic finish she's wearing i think that she's wearing a matte one so this one is also a no and i guess i'm torn between these two this one is obviously darker than this so on top is the ofra one and down here is the two-faced one i think that i'm gonna go with the ofra one. Oh no sorry it's not ofra it's actually morphe sorry 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 it's called gypsy so let's get this on the lips Ooh, la la
it's gonna be really awkward if I get blue lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> and this is our final look, you guys. Oh, I love how it came out, you guys. I think that blue and purple make one of the best color combinations ever. I just love that color combo really, really much. And I love this um, jawline thing because uh, honestly, it cuts off like 10 pounds. <laughs> oh, and also she's wearing contacts. Oh, fail. I don't have contacts. I'm not wearing any color contacts, but I can try to do this with editing. Hold on. So this eye should be blue and this one should be purplish pink something like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this with editing but if I can I'm gonna include this clip and it's gonna be dope I'm sure. <laughs> I just wish I had blue wig maybe next time from Wish <laughs> but I think that the purple one that I'm wearing right now also looks really good with this look I mean it's suitable it's something different I want to get into wigs I really want to be able to switch between blonde and brunette and maybe wear something more colorful without damaging my hair and I think that wigs are a really fun way to switch style and you know just try out something different why not life is too short to constantly overthink everything so yeah keep that in mind go check out Rita's account on Instagram a link is going to be down in the description box I recently found her out and her work is wonderful i think that you will you will love her content i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also don't forget to press that bell button right next to the subscribe button because that way you are going to be notified whenever i post a new video you can find me also on instagram facebook and twitter all of the links are going to be down in the description box or you can go and check out some more of my videos they're going to be somewhere here or maybe here i don't know i'm doing this for the first time but they're going to be somewhere here i want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye